Hey, and welcome back to WCCF Tech, everybody. This is Keith again, and today we're going to spend a little time talking more in depth about the Radeon RX 480. Now, AMD originally showed off the RX 480 back at Computex during their premiere of it and went through some other things with the card itself. Now, They've also kind of brought it back up again at E3. So we're going to spend some time talking about the card as well as some of the things that we've found along the way, a little bit of nuggets and pertaining to its performance. So let's first take a look at the board and or the graphics card and the design. We're looking at a, you know, a nice single six pin connector, a shorter PCB. We've got a blower style. Um, the, the IO is very reminiscent of the Fury lineup. So you've got the HDMI and you've got the three display ports, which I personally like that because it keeps the back clean, especially with this blower design. It leaves it more open for airflow. Now, specification wise, we know we're looking at greater than five teraflops of compute performance, 36 compute units, looking at just over 2300 string processors potentially that comes in a configuration of four or eight gigabytes of GDDR5 that's running at eight gigabits per second on a 256 bit bus. Uh, again reiterating a single six pin power connector showing this card's maximum power draw is 150 watts. Not its typical power draw but maximum power draw between the PCI Express bus and the single six pin connector which is pretty impressive, but you know, a lot of people are concerned about overclockability. Um, how fast can you actually get it on this reference design? But that's kind of wait, you know, we'll have to wait to see that. One of the things that they're really pushing with this isn't just the upgraded display port to 1.3, 1.4 HDR, but the fact that this graphics card is coming in at $199 for the four gigabyte variant. And it's going to be what they're calling VR premium. So it's going to have full v be fully ready for VR at a much lower price point. So that's that's really good because VR is expensive. This does not address the head mount display uh, pricing, but it does help with the graphics card side of the equation, bringing it down from just over three hundred dollars for the minimum to now one ninety nine, which is really good. And anybody that likes to save money but still get a good you know product that's kind of something you're going to want to take a look at now being priced at 199 for the 4 gigabyte variant and we're predicting somewhere around 230 and up for the 8 gigabyte and AIB versions of this graphics card it's directly competing with the current R9 380 380x and the GTX 960 but based on the performance numbers that we're seeing leaked from videocards.com as well as through 3D Mark we're looking at a much better performance, a much higher performance number. I mean, on the 3D Mark Firestrike performance, you're looking at uh, or Extreme. I'm sorry, Firestrike Extreme. You're looking somewhere between a 390X and a GTX 980 in performance levels. Now, I know those are both last generation cards, and it's not going to come close to say the GTX 1070 or the 1080. But again, different price points. You're looking. This is a card that's competing at the $200 level. So, trying to compare it to directly to the new 16 nanometer cards from Nvidia that are priced at 380 to uh, $600. It's not really a fair comparison, but coming in between a 390X and a 980 are going to give you excellent performance for your dollar at 1080p and 1440p. Not really sure I would recommend this. Maybe a crossfire configuration for 4K, but even then it's kind of you're you're getting into the multi GPU issues, but that that's user dependent as far as what games you play and if they're going to support it properly. Now, Fire Strike Ultra is where things get a little bit interesting cuz even though I wouldn't necessarily jump in and tell you to to go straight for it but looking at these other results that we found the 480 4 gig and 8 gig doesn't doesn't seem to make a difference on the Firestrike Ultra performance numbers you're looking at on par with uh, the 980 and that GTX 980 is the one that I have which is the PNY Accelerate OC model which is a pretty hefty overclock on a GTX 980 now Again, these you know these are all pre, you know pre-launch. These are leaked numbers. These 
you know, are unsubstantiated as far as the RX 480 goes. So it's always important to take those kind of things with, uh, you know, a little skepticism and, you know, just wait for the final results. But this is just to get you an idea maybe of what we could be seeing for it based on leaks that we've been, we've come across or have been brought to us. Now, talk about in the next video is going to be the RX 470 and we're going to talk about it specifically in its own video and then we're going to go into the RX 460 in its own video and why those two cards are going to be really important for the segment that they're coming in at and what that means for the consumer. Now it's obvious right here if these numbers t come out to be accurate we're looking at a good jump and performance we're looking at $200 price point for a graphics card delivering extremely solid frame rates and I have a feeling once it launches it's going to be on its own in its performance spectrum and we're gonna have to wait for the GTX 1060 to come out or 1060 Ti whatever comes out in that price range to compete with it and honestly at the end of the day the person who wins the most is the consumer so here it is on today that this is published is June 18th we're looking at 11 days before the NDA lifts on the RX 480 so I, at this point it would be hard for me to sell somebody that was going to spend that kind of money to go ahead and buy a graphics card if you can wait less than two weeks I would definitely wait and see what's coming now I'll, that's all we have for this video today. I want to thank you guys for your time and patience. And don't forget, forget to subscribe so that you never miss an update from us. And we'll see you all in the next one.